Kelly Vineyard, and thanks for joining us for today's Lenten devotional. Ever since I can remember, I've always sought an explanation for things. I like to know why things are happening all around me, and I'm kind of really satisfied with um, taking things at face value and and you know the answer of uh, because I said so uh, never really worked for me. You know, growing up. So today, you know, I continue my uh, love of science and I'm a scientist. And I can honestly say that as a scientist and as someone who loves answers and loves the right answers in the natural world, nothing brings me more comfort than the mystery of God. Now, what I mean by that is there are things of order in the natural world that we can explain through science. And science gives us kind of the key to unlock those mysteries or uh, of the natural world and, and opening those doors. And a lot of scientists devote their lives to, you know, finding the right key to kind of unlock uh, this answer or that answer um, that exists for us to find out. And I believe our world is much greater for it. Um, on the other hand, there are some things that aren't of this natural world. They're of the spiritual world, and and that's where where kind of our understanding of God comes in. Because you know we, uh, it's really hard to reduce God to an experiment, or God to physical properties, or God to data that can be explained by statistics. And so, as a scientist, embracing this mystery actually gives me great comfort. It takes the pressure off of me. I don't have to explain the unexplainable. When I accept the mystery of God and the secrets of God, I kind of give myself permission to um, turn inward and to start to uh, listen to the internal kind of voices instead of looking to the external world of, of you know, some of, some of the answers that can be found in the physical world. And so I want to read this verse. It's uh, Deuteronomy 29, 29. And uh, this is in the Old Testament. And it says, The secret things belong to the Lord our God, but the things revealed to belong to us and to our children forever that we may follow all the words of this law. So what this reminds me of is there are things of this world and of the law and, and the way I look at it, it's, it's the natural world and the physical world and those are things we can't explain. And, and also there is, is the law that, that is revealed to us through, through the word of God, but there are also some secret things and they belong to only God. So, you know, giving um, kind of this whole new uh, realm of, you know, maybe there is not an answer at the end of the journey. Maybe the whole point is the journey. And so, you know, you have this kind of, I find comfort, you know, there's no hypothesis I have to prove when it comes to some of the things about God that we'll never, you know, really have a full understanding of. But the beauty of the journey um, happens when you're seeking that. So it's almost like to me, when you're out on a boat, you know, in the wide ocean and you can see the horizon and you can point your boat towards the horizon and you see it, you know there's a horizon um, but, and you can go as fast as you can on that boat, but you're never gonna actually arrive at the horizon. The further you get towards that horizon, the further away it gets. And that's how I look at my spiritual journey is I can point towards God and seek to understand God and I can go there as fast as I can, but I'm never going to fully understand God. It, I'm not meant to, like that's not the point. The point is I'm on this journey seeking it. I'm on this boat in the beautiful ocean. And while I'm there, I'm getting to experience the fresh air and the beautiful water and the sea life. And there's this whole world around me that I'm experiencing as I am seeking those answers. So, you know, a lot of people sometimes think, oh, how can you be a scientist and a person of faith? And, and 
my answer to that always is how can you not be? Because, you know, science is here for us to get answers about the physical world. And there's a whole other world out there, a spiritual world that um, the beauty is in the process. And it gives me, you know, great comfort to know that I don't have to figure it all out at the end of the day, but I do um, seek to enjoy the process. And that's really what the mystery of God is to me is, is really this kind of freedom to uh, not have to explain the unexplainable, but always have something that I'm seeking. So I hope that you have um, the ability to look for the mystery and to embrace it in your day to day and um, find some joy in the process. Thanks.